Yo, what's going on guys? It is Non-Reality, and in today's video, I am making a UI and FPS guide for Black Desert in 2023. Now, first of all, we are going to start on the main menu. Now, I want to quickly talk about a bug that has been in the game for a very long time. I don't exactly know if this affects FPS. M me personally, from my experience, if I do this before I launch the game every single time, I do notice less stutters overall. And I've gone into the Reddit and like done some research, and apparently it does help some people and some people it doesn't. I guess it just depends on how bad or good your PC is. So if you go to your settings in the main menu, you'll notice that a lot of the settings aren't the exact same to what you'd have them in game. So like in game, I have miss effects on, but here they're off. Same with low power option. Now in here, low power option is on, but in my game, it is off. So I don't want low power option on in general. So every single time I launch the game, I have to click this off, apply, confirm, and then I can start the game. Now, this has been a bug, like I said, for a while, and we actually don't know if it causes an issue or not but from my experience like i said i have noticed better fps when i do turn that off every single time i launch the game if anyone in the comments has any idea about that further than what i've researched please let us know because it would be very nice if there was a way to make that so it automatically turns off every time and you don't have to do that every single time you launch the game now let's get into the ui and graphic settings as soon as my game wants to launch so um, the first thing we are going to be looking at is the UI. Now, you don't, your game isn't going to look like mine unless you have really bad PC. You just quickly get that out of the way because mine does look pretty bad just when, I, just when I record and stuff because it does use up a lot of resources. So first thing we are going to do is go into the UI. Now, if you are an end game player like I am, you don't really have any quest to do. I'd recommend turning off main quest and quest widgets 24-7. I don't need them on unless, you know, I'm doing a new story. Like when the Magnus came out, I obviously turned it back on. I'd also recommend turning off skill guides. Like I said, if you're if you're a experienced player, you don't need your skill guide. I'd personally recommend turning off item drop log. I've tried item, item drop log on and uh, versus, you know, chat drop log. And I like chat drop log way better. I don't know if there's actually an FPS difference, but the one in the chat actually stays longer. So you can kind of see what you got and it doesn't go away right away. So it's pretty nice. Obviously, you want your kill notifications on if you do any PvP. You got your skill cooldowns, any of your hotkeys that you need or whatnot. This is all customizable based off of what you actually want uh, in the game with, like, hotkeys. Obviously, I have my uh, 1 to 10s down here. I have my buff list over here with my skill log right here, which I actually don't have on because uh, I just don't really use it. We have our chats on the side. I have game tips off in the bottom here. Um, I have a platoon and party off. And then one thing I really recommend is have your custom HP bars on. So if you don't have your custom HP bars on, this is what it does look like where all of your HP stuff is at the top. I think this looks really cluttered and this is on by default. So I'd recommend turning it to custom HP bars and it looks like this. Now, one bug, I don't know if you guys noticed, but down here, this thing turned on. This thing turns on every once in a while. Just go in here and turn it off again. I don't know why it does that, but for me, it turns on every once in a while and I personally just don't need it. So that's basically all you're going to do for the UI. Now let's actually get into the graphical stuff. So first we'll go to performance and I'll just work the way down. So I recommend going for high or medium textures. Um, I've heard that low textures actually gives you less FPS. And the reason for that is because the game actually down like scales. Uh, like it, it doesn't scale up. Like if you are on high, it doesn't scale up to high, but it does scale down to low, which I don't really understand, but I do know that you do actually get more FPS if you are on high or medium, obviously, depending if your graphics card lets you go all the way to high, but um, I don't really know as much FPS. I can show you real quick. So right now I'm at around 69 to 75 was the highest I got to. Let me apply high and give it a couple seconds to load because this game does not like when you turn textures. And there we go. Now we are on high and I am getting a about 68 FPS right now, 73. So as you can see, it's a bit of the 75. There we go. That's the high point that I hit with the other one. So they are super similar. I will have lower lows as well though, like 67 or 66 if I do have it on high, but the FPS difference is about two or three. So it's not that big of a deal. Now for graphics, I would recommend if you have a better PC to put it on medium or slightly high, and if you have a bad PC, try low, very low. If uh, you don't mind having really bad graphics, you can go to lowest optimal, which is what I personally run on. But if you do play on anything but lowest and optimal, you'll notice a very big difference. Like some decals and stuff just don't load. And there is barely any, if any, uh, shadows, which I personally actually like. 
because it will just give me you know the info that i need during pvp and it won't it will get rid of anything that i don't need now i don't recommend having on any high-end graphics unless you know you're taking screenshots uh i don't recommend anti-aliasing personally i just don't like the blur that it gives to the game i like a more sharp game but if you do like blur you can turn on fxaa it will reduce your fps a little but it is still pretty decent ssao is basically just uh realistic shadows once again that's up to you uh, it will decrease fps but if some people do like that i personally do not and then the rest you just want to turn off except for reduced snow build up you can turn on i've turned it on and off and i really haven't noticed much of a difference at all so it's up to you if you want to have more snow build up or less snow build up uh one of the main things that i do see people have on is hit effect like if you're new to the game you might have hit effects on i'd recommend turning those off especially if your gpu gets really hot uh if you notice when you go do a world boss and whatnot if you do have hit effects on your uh, gpu will go up a lot in temperature just because it's constantly flashing and you know having different uh, effects show up so turn that off and try to get used to it we have optimization now now for optimization i personally don't recommend having on auto frame optimization yes it does technically help but the issue with it is if you're in a high intense like pve or pvp scenario and you drop that fps the game has to reload everything that it hid once it goes back up so like if you drop the 45 and then go up to 46 it has to reload everything that it just got rid of at 45 so that's why i personally don't use it um i don't use upscale i think it looks garbage like it, it does not look good at all it's super pixelated obviously you will get more fps but you honestly won't be able to see anything uh low power option i recommend having that off uh, it's just not a good setting to have unless there there's certain scenarios like if you're streaming i know sometimes it does help but i'd recommend just having it off all the time attack decisions will just give you more info on back attack criticals and whatnot i recommend having those on miss effects will just tell you if you missed or if you got missed on by a mob or a person i'd recommend having those on uh the white miss is you and the red miss is if they hit you uh performance optimization is good to have if you have over 16 gigabytes of ram it'll just use up more uh ram to help the game run better i personally like having it on and it only does use up about four to five gigabytes of ram even when i'm grinding so you know do with what you will you may maybe turn it on and off and see how it works I like having effect optimization on if you put it at around 40 percent uh towards performance or away from performance everything will still load and it'll just get rid of the unnecessary things the further you turn it towards performance the less things will actually load but you know if you have a really bad pc you can put it all the way to performance uh i wouldn't have this on the only reason i do have this on is during war there's you know a ton of people so i like turning it down but if you're not doing war i could uh you could turn it off it really doesn't affect it too much because there isn't a ton of people that you see around the world unless you're in a really populated spot and then hide other adventures you can obviously turn off or on depending on how bad your pc is if you're in a city that's all up to you and those things you can just turn on and off you know in game you don't have to restart your pc or anything now camera vision range make sure you have that at 100 percent. that is just your field of view make sure you always have that at 100 and then overall camera effects i'd recommend turning that to zero that's like the blur and the focus and all that personally it actually made me really sick when i had it on so i did turn it off uh, i have work progress off because i don't really care too much and pets i have hide pets just you know for that little bit extra fps but if you do have some cool pets that you like seeing, you can show only my pets. I'd recommend never having show all pets on. You can also hide certain NPCs for better game performance. I personally don't use this because I don't notice that much of a difference. And when I do turn off, I kind of just feel like the world's a, lo a lot more dead because uh, it hides, you know, all the player or all the like, you know, useless NPCs. But I think it looks cool. For display setting, I personally recommend full screen windowed, especially if you have two monitors and you kind of want to go in and out of monitors you know it, like i personally watch a lot of youtube scroll through twitter or whatnot and it's really annoying having to go to full screen because uh when you tab out of full screen it like puts it into windowed for a couple seconds sometimes your mouse gets locked it's really annoying the only time i use full screen is during war because it does obviously give you more fps overall so like if you're a one monitor person you don't really tab out a lot maybe go for full screen uh if for that extra fps obviously you have your screen resolution on whatever your main resolution is you can turn it down for more fps but i really haven't noticed too much of an issue uh having it on the default UI scale is honestly up to you. I just have it at 100 because if you put it lower, it kind of like blurs uh, the icons a bit, which I personally don't like, but I, I know people who go to 90 or 80. Now, crop mode, this is the most overpowered thing for FPS. If you see these gray bars in the top, bop, in the top and bottom of my screen, those are what uh, crop mode does. And if you watch a lot of PvP videos, you'll see a lot of people use crop mode because it, it gets rid of all that unnecessary spot in your... Uh, vision and it will also increase your fps by a ton i'd recommend putting it so it's just below this right here and you know just like near your hp bar i know some people that go all the way down to here that's honestly up to you uh what you can deal with obviously the more you get rid of the more fps you're going to have we have display quality which i already basically talked about it's kind of like you know 
graphics and texture display quality. I don't know why it overrides, but uh, there are a few extra things um, down here with remove others effects and remove faraway effects. I re recommend turning these both on, especially if you're a Node Wars player and whatnot. It is kind of annoying not having effects on for other players, but it will, if you have like effects uh, on while in Node Wars, you'll just have so like little FPS. And if you're in the open world, it doesn't matter too much. Like if I do a duel for spot, I will obviously turn this off real quick. Or, you know, you can have it off, like I said, depending on where you are in the world, if there's a lot of players. If you're doing a group grind spot, I'd recommend, you know, not having it on because you won't be able to get to great FPS. And that's basically good for that. We have effects. Now, one thing I want to mention, if you are using lowest optimal for textures, I would recommend turning your contrast and your gamma, depending on where you are. If you're in like a cave or something, you're going to need your gamma really high because for some reason with lowest optimal, you basically can't see anything if you are at default, which is why I usually put it around 37 to 40. And then effects opacity. I honestly don't notice that much of an FPS difference on 100 to zero or to 30. The only difference that I notice is obviously visibility. So if you're like in PVP or whatnot, maybe you want it a bit lower, but not too low to where you can't see. And then, you know, if you like the cool effects while you're grinding, maybe you turn it up to 80 or 90. That is obviously preference. Combat focus, I don't recommend having this on. It's just more, you know, focus type things that kind of make you sick, or at least me. Uh, color vision aid, obviously used based off of person to person. We have camera effects. Turn everything off unless you are one of those people that really care about aesthetics, but it's just more things that shake your camera, blur your camera, do stupid angles. It's very not needed. Uh, screenshots, you know, if you, you can mess around with this based off of how good you want your screenshots to look. And then everything else is just like audio and whatnot. There are some cool other settings that you can turn on and off. I'd recommend keeping aim assist on. It just makes it a lot easier to hit people. Um, combat assistant, obviously turn that off unless you are a new player. I have a uh, separable quick slots, just a personal preference. You can have simplify UI. I don't notice much of a difference because my, my UI is pretty simple to begin with. Screensaver just makes it so when you're idle, your, your, uh, your view kind of just keeps going around you in circles. It's kind of just, you know, for aesthetic purposes. Uh, font whatever you want to do show hide. I just have it based off of what I personally like. You guys can mess with this on your own. Nothing really gives you more or less FPS. It's all up to you. Alerts. I turn those all off. Personally, I don't need to see when someone fails or uh, succeeds in a pen tap. for world world map opening styles. No animation. Obviously any animations will decrease FPS and I have it set to uh, default voices don't really matter. You can turn your UI, if you didn't know, to different themes. You know, if you are if you like, you know, being in the summer and having a summer UI, well, there you go. Navigation type. I actually do really like guide arrows. I know some people find it annoying, but it just makes it a lot easier to figure out where I'm going. Um, pass uh, setting land. Exact works really good for me. Some people use smooth. And then make sure if you're doing a lot of sailing that you do have it on smooth. Exact is very bad for sailing. The rest I have off, except for auto run camera. You can kind of mess with this. I'd recommend having closed window UI when hit off just because you don't really need it on. And uh, it's kind of annoying when you're going to buy something later on in the game. You're like, if you're like farming at like centaurs and even if you get hit a million times, you're never going to die. And you kind of are trying to buy something and you keep getting hit. And it keeps closing. It gets really annoying. Um, and that is basically it for this. These are just a bunch of keybinds. Now, one thing I wanted to quickly mention that there is a guide that was made a couple years back, but it still work, works really well. And it will go through a lot of NVIDIA control panel and uh, graphic card and processor stuff. I'm personally not going to talk about that in this video because I don't want to be, uh, you know, uh, like, I don't, I don't want to get in trouble if someone, you know, does something I tell them to and then their graphics card just like completely gets destroyed. So I will leave that guide in the description if you guys want to look at it. It is a really good guide. Just make sure that when you look at it, if there's anything there that's like, change this thing for your CPU or graphics card, make sure you do at least know what you're looking at or at least know the warnings that surround it in case it does do something that you're uh, you're not going to like for other games, especially if you do play a lot of games. But yeah, that's basically it for this guide. I hope it did help some people with uh, getting better FPS and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.